Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Rempel, Paralympian, keynote speaker, and creator of the Resilience Toolbox. And on this video, I challenge you to think about what are you focused on right now? So for example, when we think about developing our mental resilience and you think about moving forward through the next several months as we head into the fall and the, and the winter season, it's gonna become more difficult to maintain a vision for the future as you continue to uh, keep your mental resilience at the forefront of your mind. And so one of the um, phrases that kind of really kept me going over a long period of time where I was facing difficulty is uh, when I heard Eric Thomas say, I want you to think about what you're thinking about when your effort is low. And as we look to develop and maintain our mental resilience, it's really important that we continually bring awareness to our thoughts about what we're thinking about when our effort is low. And so in today's video, I want to share with you a little bit how to understand, you know, what you're focusing on and how to shift that mindset with some a very simple tool. Uh, P.S. If you ever want to see some uh, further content on a regular basis, I encourage you to check out uh, my YouTube channel or you can check out Facebook and Instagram as well. But in particular, I'm always uploading a daily video on mental resilience and just type in Kevin Rempel on any of the platforms is the fastest way to find it. So I want to share with you just simple, a simple uh, technique that can really help you reframe your mindset and bring awareness to what you're thinking about. It's not simply creating uh, like a, an AB chart, a red green model. Uh, and, and in this case, we're going to talk about memories of the past versus a vision of the future. So for example, if you find yourself getting down, struggling and dwelling on the current situation, you're likely thinking about the past. What are the memories of the past that are, that are currently being held at the forefront of your mind? Perhaps the chaos that you had to deal with, you're afraid of that happening again. Maybe it's the technology troubles that you experienced five or six or seven months ago that you might still be dealing with. Maybe it's some form of renovation. It doesn't necessarily mean knocking out a wall, but that could be you know setting up your home office desk, trying to organize your home office and work environment. It could be the financial troubles. It could be fear and doubt and frustration is continuing, continuing to consume your mind. And so the opportunity that you have is to deliberately put into perspective and put it down on paper. What are you thinking about? And what would you like to think about? Because when we think about developing our mental resilience and what I enjoy the most is using cognitive behavioral therapy techniques, which focus on your thoughts, your feelings, and your behavior. And writing becomes one of your most powerful tools because you take what's an unconscious, what, what's an idea, you take a thought that you can't necessarily grab, but, sorry, you take a thought that you can't necessarily grab, but as you, as you write it down, you put it on paper and then it becomes real, like your thoughts become something tangible. And so that's the power in writing and, and using this as an example, what is your vision of the future? Take the time to actually write this down and think about what are some of the positive outcomes from your current situation? That might be a new role, maybe some uh, roles shift in your organization. You get put into a new place that you may not see or feel um, where it's taking you at the, at the present moment, but it starts to challenge you differently. It helps you develop new skills. I know that for some, maybe you've lost your job and that might actually get, open up doors for an entirely brand new career. Maybe you've always wanted to be an entrepreneur and this is your chance to actually start that business, work on a side hustle, maybe while you go get another part-time job somewhere else. This can bring opportunities for new relationships. You know, maybe you've spent so much time working in a particular uh, field or industry and as you start to shift into a new environment, maybe you develop new relationships, you start to build new friendships, you start to build new business relationships and that can lead to new opportunities. That could be chances for, of course, creating new business. That could be um, maybe you meet someone uh, someone new from uh, your previous organization you worked with and it re-engages the conversation. It could also mean you had an opportunity to test new campaigns. 
because of the different narrative that is happening right now. It's giving you a chance to test your skill set in a different field that you're not necessarily familiar with. It can mean moving to a new city. For myself, I lived in Toronto for five years. My sledge hockey team building business was closed down and I decided I was better off to get out of the condo and move into a home. And it's giving me the opportunity <laughs> with just simply like wall space. I know, I know this is really silly, but like having wall space to put my ideas down and everything else has been a big blessing for me that I otherwise may not have had. And what we're all searching for as well as, you know, uh, sources and ways to create new income, you know, from the challenges that we're facing are going to create opportunities for new products, um, new ways of delivery. It's going to, like I say, build new relationships, help you enter a new field. And so when you think about what you're thinking about, ask yourself, are you focused on the memories of the past? that are weighing you down, that are causing further fear, doubt, and frustration? Or are you thinking about your vision for the future? What are those positives that either exist in your near future or you can start to work towards as your long-term future? And this can start with something as simple as writing them down and creating your own list. I know for myself, like I say, I can easily focus on my sledge hockey business was closed. I can easily focus on, you know, the, the, let me back up for a second here, the 20K plus revenue lost. And that was just what was on the books in the in that initial moment, not about what was um, going to be coming down the pipeline that was already in the works for months. Uh, and I can easily focus on the momentum or the, the momentum that was lost. All of these can easily be areas of focus that would drag me down on a regular basis. But what I know is that I need to continue to focus on what my vision is for the future as I look to build the new my, my new reality. So for example, my vision for the future is um, feature, how would I, how I'm trying to think of how I would describe it. Um, teach using the resilience toolbox. For many years, I've only been a keynote speaker. I never necessarily had a workshop. And now the Resilience Toolbox is an entire workshop that I can deliver one day, hopefully, well, not hope, like one day live, but I can also deliver virtually. And it includes strategies like this. And all of these over here, these are all of the strategies about, um, you know, assembling your library and assets, assets or um, resources doing your homework. These are all the writing techniques and strategies to reframe your mind, to get clear in your mind. Um, goal setting, habits, you know, visualization, diet, sleep, and exercise. All the fundamentals around self-care and developing a res resilient mindset. I could focus on what is being built, what's the vision for the future. I can think about uh, helping new people. It's, it's from creating the Resilience Toolbox that has given me an opportunity to uh, connect with and engage with a new audience. And to be frank with you too, this is a new revenue stream. These are all positives that help me continually focus on what is the vision for, the for my future that motivates me to continue to keep going when I want to give up. So let me pop, pop back for a second. So I think this is where I wanted to kind of end off at, is I want to challenge you to think about what are you focused on right now? Are you thinking about your memories of the past or are you thinking about your vision of the future? What are you thinking about when your effort is low? Because what you think about when your effort is low is going to help uh, is going to dictate what you decide to do and, and the steps you ch choose to take as you decide, desire to move forward. If you'd like to learn a bit more about the Resilience Toolbox, I encourage you to check out kevinremple.com toolbox. I'll add the information below in the description. 
Uh, if you'd like to learn a bit more about how you can apply some of these strategies on the website, kevinrempel.com, there is a series of blog articles. And as always, I encourage you to check out YouTube as well, like I said, where I'm posting daily videos on a regular basis around mental resilience. At the end of the day, we all have an opportunity to show up in our own life and become a hero of our own movie. And it starts with by focusing on small things to make a big difference. And if you really want to start to make a shift in your own mindset, it can literally begin with something as simple as creating a, a, or pulling out a piece of paper, drawing a line down the middle, and on one side asking yourself, are you thinking about your memories of the past or your vision of the future? And with that, you can continue to show up and become a hero in your own movie. Kevin Rempel signing out. I'll see you again soon.